hey guys our next topic is ui explorer so what are those key areas that you must study and where are they and what are they i am going to show you in this video so do not forget to write complete it i am putting my efforts to help you you must also help me by writing comments so that i know how many people are really doing it and i know if it is helping people or not so please do comment uh, simply say complete it if you would like to type a single word now what is that i am talking you must study okay what is that let me show you so ui explorer first thing you do on your ui app studio open click on this ui explorer and keep it open okay and the next thing you should do go to um, google and search for ui explorer ui path docs and i'm going to share you this link and i hope i hope you are maintaining the excel sheet so let me paste it here so this is the link which we should use now in this one um, let's understand okay what are those key important points we must know okay if you do not have ui path dot ui automation dot activities pack installed on as a dependency for the current project the ui explorer button does not appear in the ribbon so if if in your ui path studio if this one is not appearing ui explorer that means it's saying if you do not have the ui path um dot ui automation dot activities pack installed on the as a dependency so where do you find your dependencies if you go to the project right ui path uh, dot ui automation dot activities okay this is there so if it is not there then that ribbon will not appear okay so which package you have to go this is the package okay um alternatively you can launch the ui explorer by navigating to home uh, backstage view tools and apps okay from there also there is an option you can check that now what i am talking is the, the important point okay so this is very important field description for the ui explorer window okay the field description so here you see in the ui explorer right uh, the first one is a gray color with a small square if you can go near and see that there is all square so what is the meaning of that the meaning of that is um, the selector is being uh, not this one that means you have not done anything right it, you have not selected anything uh, but if there is a um, circle symbol i don't know if you, it is visible on your screen on my on your so if, if you see there is a that means selector is being validated let me show you okay how it is working uh for that uh, let's open the, let's a subscribe button okay so i'm going to hit on indicate element and then i'm going to indicate the subscribe button and quickly go to the ui so what is happening you can see there is a round that means it's being validated getting it so being validated and then you will get a green tick mark so um, just practice this once you will have complete you will be able to remember that means being validated green means valid selector red means invalid selector question mark means modified selector let's say if i am modifying for example um i'm writing something so i am modifying so it will become validate so if i validate because i have typed something wrong so it is giving wrong that means invalid selector okay so this much is this table should be well remembered the button shows that the status of the selector by checking the validity of the selector definition and visibility of the target element on the screen the validate button has three states okay so you got this uh, understanding okay apart from that in the ui explorer you should also look for these options okay indicate element you know indicate an anchor for a relative uh, for a, for a relative selector you have to use this and then repair and then you have the options okay so if you click on options there are three different options that you have one is ui frameworks the other one is delayed restore the third one is trigger selector keep your mouse pointer on this three items and uh, re read it properly okay so for example uh, ui frameworks so here what is the default so keep your mouse pointer uh, active accessibility when you should use ui automation when you should use you should know about that delayed restore what is the meaning of a trigger selector what is the meaning of it this three things you must read okay um, so all these options i have highlighted let me just let you know contain several options ui framework Uh, changes the technology used determine ui elements and the selectors the following options are available default active accessibility and ui automation default means what where did you find this options ui framework and default active so this is this is what we are trying to read okay so um, the first one changes the technology used 
to determine ui element and we understood this when you select default when you go for default ui path proprietary method usually works fine with all all of the user interfaces what what is important here is active when you should go for active accessibility when you should go for ui automation when you should go for active accessibility an earlier solution from microsoft for making apps accessible it is recommended that you use this option for legacy software this word is important ui automation when you should go for any newer app okay i have highlighted so read this carefully okay what is delayed restore delayed restore means ui element that auto close on focus lost such as a drop down let's see you, you have to select a drop down so when you go to the mouse the drop down appears when you take out your mouse the drop down goes up so that that is where you want delayed restore okay so that you can capture that properly that particular element within the drop down so for that a delayed restore has to be checked okay i'm quickly going through that just letting you know what you should read and then uh, trigger selector ensures the uniqueness of ui element with its parent while increasing the monitoring accuracy so what is this trigger selector one you should use use this option when generating selectors for trigger activities click trigger uh, right process trigger all those activities are there so for those things um, ensure the uniqueness of the ui element uh, within the parent so so that is why one has to go for a uh, trigger selector getting it so i'm getting continuous calls um, but again you got to know right and then what is a visual tree so spend enough time on this specific page and highlight the important points and you must go because there could be a question from ui explorer you should be able to answer you should understand what is a visual tree what are each of these buttons right how do you modify when to put a star when to put a question mark so all these things property explorer all these things you must read it okay so i've shown you what is required this is more of a theory and you have an understanding of how to do it and you have used ui explorer um, to modify certain selectors then you should be able to answer it just go through the documentation so that you do not miss on important points and you should not fail in answering those questions okay so i've shown you the area of what to read where to focus um, now it's up to you to spend some 15 20 minutes of time to go through the entire document and make notes of those important points in your uh, excel document in your remark section on the r keep it so that when you revise you can just quickly go through it or else you can open the doc you have highlighted just read through those important points all right guys so thank you so much uh, we are going to meet in our next content bye bye